In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to slowly transition from summer to fall. Let's get right into it. Okay, friends, we are heading into September, so that means fall is very well on its way. It's not here just yet. Technically, we have a few more weeks until fall's actual arrival, but I feel like once we hit September, we're kind of in that transitional mindset where we start to stop thinking about summer and we start to start thinking about fall. And I kind of love this transitional period. I'm so excited for the fall personally. So I am looking forward to transitioning very quickly into all of the fall things. But I do get that some people are not looking forward to that and they want to hold on to summer for a little bit longer. So I think this transitional period is going to be the best of both worlds, if that makes sense. But it will also help those who are struggling with heading into the fall months or fall season by slowly easing in some fall practices that still do really well in the summertime and in summer activities, but will also help prepare you for the season ahead. So hopefully the tips and the ideas that I come up with in this video are going to be helpful and fun and exciting for both sides, whether you're a summer lover or a fall lover, but let's jump into it. The first thing is to slightly adjust your wardrobe. So I have started to very, very slowly do this and depending Depending on the weather you're experiencing, this will happen sooner rather than later for you too. But I've noticed that the mornings and evenings have been getting just a bit cooler. It's really nice and chilly and it feels like fall during those times of the day. And then in the middle of the day, it's pretty much warm. So I have been swapping out little pieces in my outfits that kind of cater to both parts of the day. So for example, I'll wear shorts and then layers or a sweater on top. And I think this is such an underrated detail. I know it's gonna sound silly starting off with this because it seems silly, but comfort is a big deal for me. Comfort sets me up for success for the rest of the day and helps me start things off in a joyful place. So if you resonate with that, and I know a lot of you do, I've seen you in the comments say that you agree with me, try giving this kind of transitional outfit thing a try. Once again, I go with shorts and then like a sweater on top, but you can kind of flip flop it if you want to. But it's basically pairing summer tops slash bottoms with fall tops slash bottoms. And layers are a really good way to do that as well. So in case it gets really hot, you can remove layers. If it starts to get cooler, you can add layers, things like that. Also, it's really, really cute. And that is another layer of just extra joy, if that makes sense. Okay, the next thing is to sprinkle fall adjacent flavors into your current meals, beverages, treats, sweet treats, things like that. Once again, I have started to notice little slight changes in my environment. So when I go to the farmer's market, I have been seeing more squash being available. And that's kind of like nature's indicator that we are transitioning into fall season because while there are summer squash, there's also fall squash. And I can literally see the transition of that when I go to the farmer's market. So that's one example. You can take squash and add it to your meals, to your recipes, whether that's through like a grilled squash with a protein on the side or with pasta or maybe like a grilled squash pizza. I feel like that's the perfect summer slash fall meal as well. But another idea is trying a new coffee creamer. I am hoping to do this, but everybody's talking about pumpkin spice right now and i just want to highlight the fact that you don't need to like pumpkin spice to like fall or enjoy the fall season there are other fall flavors so you can try cinnamon a little sprinkle of cinnamon in your coffee or maple syrup i love maple that might be my favorite fall coffee flavor or anything comforting like cinnamon roll sugar cookie Anything that has like warm spices I feel like is kind of fall adjacent and so just sprinkle that into your coffee even if it's iced coffee I think that actually that combo with warm spices and an iced coffee go hand in hand trust me but you can also get a little bit of baking happening again I have not been using my oven for the entire summer just to keep things cool in the house but every once in a while for the past couple of weeks I've been turning on the oven for say muffins on the weekend baking muffins on the weekend but also sheet pan meals if you want to implement one sheet pan meal for the week that would be a perfect idea to start using your oven again slowly very slowly transitioning into that i think is key okay the next thing is to shift your activities from summer vibes to fall vibes and i do have some examples that will go really well with this so first off gaming you know i always have to talk about gaming but 
I feel like gaming this year for me has been very social. I've been playing games with friends. Shifting it to a more fall vibe would be like bringing it back home. And you can still make this social. You can still have friends over and do game nights or video game nights or virtual game nights. I still think that can definitely apply here but slowly ease it back into the indoors, into the coziness of your home. And that way, when it's time for you to have to stay home, it won't be that difficult to do. At least I don't think so. Another example is reading. So you might be into your chilling thrillers or your beachy, steamy romances, but you can slowly start transitioning into cozy fall reads. I've been seeing a lot of videos of very specifically cozy fall reads, not necessarily horror or thriller for spooky season. I've been seeing specifically very cozy, very fun, very light autumnal type of books, kind of like Gilmore Girls vibes if you think about it. Honestly, I am willing to give these books a try even though I've never read those types of cozy reads, so I am very excited. I think it's a perfect transition from like a lighthearted romance to a lighthearted fall romance or fall read. Another example is knitting. So maybe you've been knitting on the go, you've been knitting outside, knitting at the beach. Now you can kind of transition that inside as well, like I was talking about with the gaming, but you don't necessarily have to be at home knitting. I think you can take this to a coffee shop even, and you can still make it social, get an iced beverage. It's still technically warm outside. So I feel like that all works well with each other and it kind of balances the fall and summer really well, which obviously you're seeing with a lot of the examples. I'm trying to balance out summer and fall kind of half and half, as best as I can at least. Another example is harvesting from the garden. So we've been spending so much time outside in the sun tending to our garden, but now we are heading towards the harvesting part of our garden season. And I've already started harvesting a bunch of peppers. Those grow very fast and very abundantly in my garden. So I've been doing that, but I have also started to see my tomatoes get red. So we're at that time. So I think that's also another perfect summer slash fall activity. And then the last thing that I have for cozy activities is creating a summer wrap up playlist. If you are a big music fan, I think you will love this idea. So basically think of all of the songs and just the songs that you've been enjoying this summer and make a playlist specifically for that. It brings me back into the days of creating a themed mixtape or a CD. And I think we can still do that here. So when it is fall time and you're kind of missing the summer vibes and you wanna feel that nostalgia from the summer, you can put on this playlist and you can enjoy all of the vibes that you enjoyed from the summer. The next thing is to embrace back to school vibes. Whether you're a student or not, I think you can still utilize this tip. Um, and I did do a video very recently on back to school mindset essentials that was kind of catered to young adults who are going back to school. But I do also think those mindset tips were really good for adults who are not in school as well. So I think that whole vibe will apply into this tip as well. But you can do a bit of a school year reset. I know school year starts in September, so we can do a bit of a reset there. Even if we're not heading into a classroom, we can do a little mini declutter somewhere or we can do a digital declutter, whatever it may be to kind of start you off on a fresh slate, I think is a good idea. And I personally want to do this so bad because I love nothing more than a fresh slate. It just, a reset does wonders for my mind. <laughs> Let me know if you agree with me there. But another idea is to do a desk slash office refresh. And of course, this can be decluttering, but this can also mean like, refreshing any supplies that you need to replace, replenish, whatever it may be, and also decorating if you want to kind of shift your de decorations to something a little bit more cozy fall. I think that would be perfect. I saw somebody on TikTok recently do a bit of a desk refresh and they added like a blanket to the back of their chair and that one little detail made the whole space more comfy. So that's just one example. And then another thing you can do for back to school vibes is checking in on your 2024 goals and appointments. Big on appointments because I feel like during this time of the year, the very end of the year, I tend to forget about all of the appointments that I needed to make, like doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So use this time, use this opportunity to schedule all of those appointments. I promise you that it's going to be worth it for your overall well-being and health. But yeah, this is probably the best time to stop and think about those things right now, as well as your 2024 goals if you haven't looked at them for a little bit. And the last thing is to begin considering ways to transition your wellness routines. So I feel like wellness routines do shift with the seasons because certain things are priority in the cold seasons and certain things are not. So for example, body movement. 
I'm pretty sure a lot of us are taking our body movement outside so that we can embrace that warm weather, that sunshine, all of that good stuff. So maybe now's the time to start slowly transitioning to indoor activities. One example could be an indoor class or an indoor slash outdoor hybrid kind of class. Those are really fun, still social, still summery, but still kind of easing into the indoor activity. Or you can get some tools at home. If you're looking for something that's small, compact, accessible, I would say perhaps one dumbbell. I think one dumbbell is a really good way to start when it comes to dumbbell weights and stuff like that. I still use the same three that I've had for many years. Another is bala bangles. Those are just kind of like strap on weights for your wrist or your ankle. Those are very small and compact and easy to use anywhere, honestly. Or a yoga mat. Those are some accessible ideas, but if you wanna take it up another notch, you can get a walking pad, a treadmill, maybe like a workout bench, whatever it may be, but slowly get those pieces so that you can shift from only relying on outdoor activity to slowly relying on some indoor activity as well. Another wellness routine is immunity care. Again, immunity care can look so much different depending on the season that we're in. And we're heading into colder seasons, which means we're heading into seasons where a lot of people get sick. It's also flu season, so, be sure to take care of your immunity, um, do what you need to do, take your vitamins, take your supplements, all of those things. Just a quick reminder there. And then another wellness routine is mood boosting activities. I think that has a lot to do with our well-being. We want to be physically healthy, but we also want to be mentally healthy. And, and part of mental health is making sure that we prioritize our joys, right? We talk about that all the time on the channel. So start brainstorming what you want to embrace in fall. Whether you're a fall person or not, I'm sure you can think of a couple of ideas. Start with like one to three. If you're a big fall fan, you can probably think of a dozen right on the spot, but start to think about it. And we'll talk more about this because as you know, I talk a lot about seasonal slow living on the channel and I do dedicated videos on slow living for X and Y season. So there will be a slow living for fall season video coming very soon, a little bit closer to actual fall. Another way to brainstorm is kind of thinking of your favorite summer activities and how you can transition them into a more fall time activity just give it a little brainstorm maybe have a chat with somebody else and you know get your ideas rolling so that when it is fall time you won't be like oh my gosh what am i gonna do for this entire season i have two examples for that one one is brunch at home i know we like to go out go out and go to restaurants for brunch during the summertime but you can host brunch at home and another one is cozying up at the beach we like to associate the beach with hot weather um, sunbathing, suntanning, getting into the water and stuff like that, but I have been seeing some Nantucket vibes or coastal grandma vibes where people are bringing their blankets and their sweaters and cozying up by the beach and embracing all that salt breeze, that breezy salty air, and I don't know, reading, having dinner, having a hot cup of coffee, whatever it may be. You can definitely switch up some of the vibes with all of these activities and make it more fall themed. So hopefully that helps get your imagination going. Okay, so those are all of my tips. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gets you a little bit more excited about this transitional period. I know it's a tricky period. Transitional periods are always tricky for anyone. So I totally get it if you're not necessarily excited for fall, but you want to be, but you're also holding on to summer. Like it's, it's a weird time and I totally get that. I'm trying to be as, I don't know what the right word is, maybe gentle as possible with both sides because I want to, I want people to have that time and space to slowly enjoy their rest of their summers while also getting excited for fall because personally I'm excited for fall. You do you, do what makes you most happy and there shouldn't be any judgment, but I totally get it if, you know, something is souring the mood for you on social media. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any ideas for the things that I talked about or anything that you're excited about that I mentioned. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Good luck during this transitional period. Tell me if you're a summer or fall person in the comments and I will talk to you in next week's video. Walking.